Uh, we are LeBlanc and Cudmore. Um, I'm Scott Cudmore. And that's Michael LeBlanc. And uh, we are from Toronto, Canada. Action! I didn't grow up in Toronto. I grew up in a town called London, Ontario, um, which is named after the other London. And uh, London's a very conservative, kind of boring, middle class to upper middle class city. And I think a lot of that sort of like banal suburbia experiences has sort of shaped the kind of images and, and stories and we deal with a lot. So for the fucked up video for Queen of Hearts, um, that album, uh, David Comes to Life, was just such a strong uh, narrative and, and a piece unto itself that it, it made sense that the video should have would have to kind of be a, a part of that story. The idea for having kids sing the vocals, when, when we were approached to do that video, they said that they wanted something, you know, completely outside the box, and that sort of gave us the freedom to do something like remove Damien's vocals and, and have children sing sing the song instead. Plus, you know, watching kids sing uh, hardcore vocals is pretty amazing, and it was hard, you know, any opportunities. It was like the best opportunity to do something like that. And then the uh, idea of having us be in the video, um, that again just sort of went back to the album and, and the idea and the you know the idea of the the postmodern idea of the narrator becoming a character. So I thought that you know the crew should become a character. And also, I mean, that's kind of become a bit of a motif in, in a bunch of our stuff. Um, I think whenever I mean I read a lot of uh, fiction like Italo Calvino and. Paul Auster and City of Glass and stuff like that. And, and also this Lindsay Anderson film called Oh Lucky Man, one of the movies that made me want to make movies, I think. And then that, the director becomes a character in the movie, the director of the movie you're watching, and it's a way of like showing the artifice, I guess. Yeah, Tar Tarkovsky is a big influence also. Um, I like. I think maybe one of my favorite movies is Mirror. And uh, visually, it, just the way that, that uh, they, they tell that story with like the augmenting natural light. And I don't know, I, I, I do sort of see a similarity in some of the, some of the things that we do in a visual, in a visual way. Yeah, and I think there's a patience to his films too. Yeah. I do think music videos are, are becoming more of a poetic language. I think even, yeah, all filmmaking is still just sort of figuring it out. I mean, and I think music videos are kind of at the frontier of, of pushing all the other, you know, cinematic forms forward. The three Mets videos are, well, I wouldn't call them a trilogy. Um, they're not a trilogy, but I think they all sort of deal with uh, this sort of urban anxiety and urban ennui, I guess. Um, the wet blanket video is sort of from the perspective of a teenage girl. Um, and what's wrong? I'll let her out. I think she wants to come out. The Wasted video is sort of the 
sort of shopping mall, suburban culture, um, sort of torn apart. And then the swimmer video is sort of a more adult experience of being frustrated and stuck, unable to move forward. And that's sort of the idea that inspired the sort of um, backwards and forwards looping. Okay, Mathilde, just, uh, you can play it off the iPod. Uh, don't, don't worry about getting it perfect, it's okay. Uh, the Stephen Malkmus and the Jix video. Um, that, yeah, that's, a, that's another example of um, a video where we were, we're revealing crew and not hiding the fact that we're making a film. Yeah, and then I guess we've done that too in the new pornographers video as well to just go to a few more examples of that. I, I think it just, it, it also just makes it more real. Um, when you take down the facade of can shut the, the window. The, yeah, I can shut the window. I think it just makes it more, more real and because it, it just makes the viewer able to approach the work more directly and become a participant in, in it rather than just, you know, somebody who's passively watching something. I don't really personally care very much about, about plots at all. In film, uh, I don't think film is actually the best medium to even tell a story. I think that books are much better at it. The atmosphere that is created and the world that is created and the and the um, the tone of it um, and there's something sublime in that and, and I think that that's like the real power of 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 films. So in the Timber Timber video for Hot Dreams, the strip club was definitely the main character. Um, and the mood of the piece is the main character, and everybody else in it is filtered through that. Um, and I think that's the same for the Bell and Sebastian video, and the same for, I don't know, the Alche video. I think it's the same for kind of all the, all, everything we do. I think the new pornographers dance all domine videos our first real attempt at trying to make a pop video. We are obviously drawing from, you know, very uh, obvious references um, and trying to pay homage to a lot of like pop things that we admire and like Clouseau's little fan and that's why we tried to get a guy who could sort of be Clouseau in there. <laughs> um, I think I think there's definitely an attraction to older things, just because probably you know old film studios and studio techniques and 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 props and and that world of like television um, and film. Um, just because of the nostalgia, probably it's it's something that we didn't live through or really get to experience. So there's there's an immediate uh, mystery. <laughs> And I think that the same could be said for the absolutely free video for Visions. Which was um, also, you know, trying to take like 70s fashion culture and film culture and like that sort of like art like world that happened then um, and then filter it through something very modern, uh, through very modern editing techniques. Um, of like green screen layering, data moshing, and you know basically every ridiculous editing technique we could come up with. Yeah.